Have you ever wondered what truly makes a relationship thrive? It's not just love or passion, but understanding and embracing vulnerability. Today, we're diving deep into the world of stoicism to reveal the weakest part of a woman and how you can become her perfect lover. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're exploring the fascinating intersection of stoicism and relationships. We'll uncover how understanding and respecting a woman's vulnerabilities can transform you into the perfect partner. Our goal is to provide you with valuable insights on how stoic principles can enhance your emotional connections and relationships. So, what is stoicism? Originating from ancient Greece, stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. It's about maintaining emotional resilience and rational thinking, especially in challenging situations. In modern relationships, these principles are incredibly relevant. They help us navigate emotional complexities and build stronger, more empathetic connections with our partners. Stay tuned as we delve into the heart of Stoicism and discover how it can make you a more understanding supportive and loving partner. Segment one, the concept of vulnerability. In the context of human relationships, vulnerability means allowing ourselves to be open and honest about our deepest fears, emotions, and desires. It's about sharing those parts of ourselves that we often keep hidden, fearing judgment or rejection when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we create an environment where genuine connection and understanding can flourish. However, there are many misconceptions about vulnerability. One of the most common is the belief that being vulnerable means being weak. This couldn't be further from the truth. Vulnerability requires immense courage and strength. It's about having the bravery to show your true self. Even when it's uncomfortable, or scary. By being vulnerable, we demonstrate trust and openness, which are fundamental to any strong relationship. Recognizing and respecting vulnerabilities in our relationships is crucial for their growth and strength. When we acknowledge our own vulnerabilities and those of our partners, we build a foundation of trust and empathy. This mutual understanding fosters a deeper emotional connection and a sense of safety when both partners feel safe to express their true selves the relationship becomes more resilient and capable of overcoming challenges so rather than viewing vulnerability as a weakness we should embrace it as a powerful tool for building stronger more meaningful relationships by doing so we not only enhance our connections but also grow individually as more empathetic and understanding human beings. Segment two, the weakest part of a woman. When we talk about the weakest part of a woman, it's essential to clarify that we are referring to emotional vulnerabilities, not physical weakness. These vulnerabilities are universal and human, stemming from deep-seated feelings and experiences that everyone, regardless of gender, can relate to. Understanding and acknowledging these emotional aspects is crucial for building a compassionate and supportive relationship. Women, like all individuals, may experience a range of emotional vulnerabilities. Insecurity is a common one, often rooted in societal pressures and personal experiences. This can manifest as doubts about one's worth or constant self-questioning. Another significant vulnerability is the fear of rejection, which can create a barrier to open communication and trust. This fear can lead to emotional guardedness, making it difficult to form deep connections. Additionally, emotional overload is another vulnerability where the demands of daily life combined with personal and professional responsibilities can lead to feelings of being overwhelmed and stressed. Addressing these vulnerabilities requires empathy and understanding. 
Empathy involves actively listening and being present without judgment, creating a safe space for your partner to express her feelings. Understanding goes hand in hand with empathy as it involves recognizing the root causes of these vulnerabilities and offering support in meaningful ways. By showing empathy and understanding, you help alleviate these emotional burdens, fostering a stronger, more resilient relationship. This approach not only strengthens your bond, but also empowers both partners to grow together emotionally. Segment three, applying stoicism to become the perfect lover. Stoicism can be a powerful tool in becoming a supportive and loving partner by incorporating its core principles. Wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Into your relationship, you can create a foundation of understanding, respect, and emotional balance. Wisdom is about understanding your partner's needs and emotions. It involves actively listening and being attuned to their feelings without immediately jumping to conclusions or solutions. By seeking to truly understand their perspective, you can respond in a way that is supportive and considerate, fostering a deeper connection. Courage plays a crucial role in addressing difficult conversations and emotions. Relationships are not always easy, and having the courage to confront uncomfortable topics with honesty and openness is essential. This bravery helps to resolve conflicts and build trust. Showing your partner that you are committed to working through challenges together. Justice in a relationship means treating your partner with fairness and respect. It's about recognizing their worth and ensuring that their needs and boundaries are respected. This principle helps to create a balanced and equitable partnership where both individuals feel valued and understood. Finally, temperance is about maintaining emotional balance and self-control. It involves managing your own emotions and reactions, especially during times of stress or conflict. By practicing temperance, you can approach situations with a calm and rational mindset helping to de-escalate tensions and promote a harmonious relationship. By applying these stoic principles, you not only become a more supportive and loving partner, but also cultivate a relationship grounded in mutual respect, understanding, and emotional resilience. This holistic approach can transform your connection, making it stronger and more fulfilling for both partners. Segment four, real life examples and scenarios. Let's look at some real life examples and scenarios where stoic principles can significantly improve relationships. Imagine a couple where one partner feels insecure about their job performance, applying the stoic principle of wisdom. The other partner listens attentively and validates these feelings rather than dismissing them. This support fosters trust and strengthens their bond. Another scenario could involve a couple facing a difficult decision about moving to a new city. By applying courage, they openly discuss their fears and hopes, addressing the issue directly rather than avoiding it. This honest communication helps them make a well-informed decision together, reinforcing their partnership. In a situation where one partner feels they are taking on more household responsibilities, the principle of justice comes into play. By treating each other with fairness and respect, they can discuss and redistribute these tasks more equitably, ensuring both feel valued and respected. Lastly, consider a couple in a heated argument. By practicing temperance, one partner remains calm and composed helping to de-escalate the situation and bring the conversation back to a productive path. This emotional control promotes a healthier way to handle conflicts. These examples show how stoic principles can positively impact relationships. I encourage you to reflect on your experiences and think about how you can apply these lessons to enhance your connections. Segment five, harassing common challenges. Practicing stoicism in relationships 
isn't always easy. And there are potential obstacles. Misunderstandings can arise when one partner's stoic approach is perceived as emotional distance. To overcome this, communicate clearly about your intentions and ensure your partner knows you're committed to understanding and supporting them. Emotional barriers can also hinder the practice of stoicism. If past experiences have led to trust issues or fear of vulnerability, it can be challenging to fully embrace stoic principles. In such cases, patience and continuous effort are essential. Gradually build trust through consistent actions and open communication. Another challenge is maintaining the balance between emotional control and empathy. It's crucial to manage your emotions without appearing cold or indifferent. Show your partner that while you are composed, you are also deeply attuned to their feelings and needs. Continuous learning and self-improvement are vital in overcoming these challenges. Engage in regular self-reflection and seek feedback from your partner. Read about stoicism and relationships to deepen your understanding by being committed to growth. You can navigate these obstacles and build a more resilient and fulfilling relationship. Remember, practicing stoicism is a journey, not a destination. Embrace the process, and over time, you'll find that these principles can profoundly enhance your relationship, making it stronger and more harmonious. In this video, we've explored how stoicism can help you become the perfect lover by understanding and addressing emotional vulnerabilities. We started by defining stoicism and its core principles, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. We discussed the importance of recognizing and respecting vulnerabilities in a relationship, particularly those often experienced by women, such as insecurity, fear of rejection, and emotional overload. We then showed how applying stoic principles can enhance your support and connection with your partner. Real life examples illustrated how these approaches can positively impact relationships. As we wrap up, I encourage you to practice stoicism and empathy in your relationships. Start by listening more intently, addressing tough conversations with courage, treating your partner with fairness and maintaining emotional balance and maintaining emotional balance. These small but significant steps can transform your relationships, making them stronger and more fulfilling. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. How have you applied stoicism in your relationships? What challenges have you faced and how did you overcome them? Share your stories in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on relationships and personal growth. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching. Your support means a lot to us. Stay tuned for our upcoming video on building emotional resilience in relationships, where we'll dive deeper into practical strategies and real life examples. Follow us on social media for more updates and daily tips on personal growth and relationship advice. Our handles are in the description below. Until next time, remember that building a strong relationship is a journey and every step you take towards understanding and empathy brings you closer to a more fulfilling connection. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.